One. Excuse me, are you one of the conference organizers? Yes, I am. Is there anything you need? Yes, I'm giving a presentation here in half an hour and I'm just trying out the equipment. There seems to be something wrong with the projector. Do you see? The image is very dark. I've been trying to increase the contrast, but it's not really any better. I'm not sure what the problem is. Is there anyone here who could have a look at it? A technician or someone? Well, there is a technician, but actually, he already had a look at it for the previous speaker, and there wasn't anything he could do. He suggested drawing all the curtains so that less light comes into the room. Would you like us to do that for you? Well, if nothing else can be done, yes. Two. So what made you move here? I love my country and my city, but it's not an easy place to live. We have a lot of problems there. What kind of problems? For a start, it's very overcrowded and there's a real housing shortage. As a result, there are a lot of homeless people, a lot of beggars on the streets and, unfortunately, a lot of muggings. There are many car accidents too. Nobody ever stops at traffic lights and people drive much too fast. Three. Right, now remember, the bus will be leaving to go back to the hotel in two hours. Now, first, I'd like to give you a bit of advice. Three hours isn't enough to see everything. You'd need at least two days for that or more. Some of you have told me that you want to see the Roman room, that's room 49. But there's so much to see that I don't really want to confuse you by recommending anything specific. What I suggest is that you get an information leaflet from the ticket office and have a look at what there is in each room and decide what you're most interested in seeing and leave the rest for another time. You're sure to come here again. But do leave yourselves time to have a look at the shop which is on the right of the entrance as there are lots of really interesting and imaginative gifts apart from the usual postcards. Yeah. Right, now, have you got... Four. Yeah, I know. Don't do that. Now, science is all about testing and about looking closely at things. Some scientists use microscopes to take a close look. Do you know what a microscope is? Yes. <laughs> well, we're just going to use a simple piece of paper, like this. We're going to cut out a square in the middle to make a window, which we'll do like this by folding the piece of paper in half. And then we're going to look at a leaf through the window we've made. Then later, we're going to go outside and have a look at a tree trunk. <gasps> so, have you all got your piece of paper? Right. Now, fold it in half. Five. This next painting is of Sir Isaac Newton, the famous yes, physicist yes. and mathematician. Uh, Newton was born in 1643 at Woolsthorpe Manor in Woolsthorpe by Colsterworth, a small village in the county of Lincolnshire. He was born to a family of farmers who owned animals and land, thus making them fairly wealthy. According to his own later accounts, Newton was born prematurely and no one expected him to live. His father, also named Isaac Newton, had been a yeoman farmer and had died three months before Newton's birth at the time of the English Civil War. When Newton was three, his mother remarried and went to live with her new husband, leaving her son in the care of his maternal grandmother, Marjorie Ayscough. 